Do you want more great content from me? Check out the description box down below. Hi guys, it's Adam and today we've taken a little bit of a laid back approach to video making. Uh, it seems like the lighting is okay uh, where it is, where the camera is. It's very, very hard in this house to actually find a place where the lighting is of reasonable quality. But it seems okay where we are so I thought, yeah, we'll do a bit of a more, more laid back approach to video making. So, in this video, well, it's actually going to be two videos. Um, one video, which is this video, will be uh, three things I love listing. And then the other video will be three things I hate listing. And I thought it's quite a cool um, video to make, actually, because I know a lot of other people on YouTube do, like, lists, you know, of 10 things they like and 10 things they hate and things like that. And I thought it'd just be interesting to throw a video out there uh, in terms of reselling related with these kind of lists. So I couldn't really think of 10, 10 things that I love listing or 10 things I hate listing. It would take me forever. So I thought I'd just do sort of a group of three, like my top three items that I love listing and obviously the top three that I really dislike listing. So with that being said, we'll get on with the video. So number one isn't actually a specific item. It's a group of items and that is just anything brand new and sealed. So whether it be on whether you're listing it on Amazon or whether you're listing it on eBay, brand new and sealed stuff, it's just so easy to list. If the boxes are in really, really good condition as well, you don't really need to describe any flaws on the item. It it just it, they're just so easy. You know, if a box is in perfect condition, it's literally very, very tiny little description easy title um, and it's just so easy to I mean it's even easy it's quite easy to pack um, I mean especially like a sealed board game and stuff it seems to be quite easy to pack um, you know it's not like if you've got some sort of ceramic item that needs a lot of protection or something like that it, it just seems see, anything sealed just seems so easy personally for me it just seems so easy to list, especially if we're dealing with Amazon uh, and Amazon FBA. It's just like so smooth, whether it's Merchant Fulfilled or FBA on Amazon, it's just so smooth to list something sealed. So, yeah, first group of items is anything brand new and sealed, whether that be on eBay or Amazon. I just absolutely love um, listing those items. It just seems very, very easy to list. So, number two are Lego minifigures. So, um, once you get into a rhythm with actually listing Lego minifigures, it's very, very easy to do 20, 30, 40 listings an hour, just banging out these Lego minifigures on your phone, listing them, or even on your computer. Just get You can just get into that rhythm of just listing, 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 listing. And I, cho I chose Lego mini sp figures specifically and not Lego as a, a whole because sometimes Lego as a whole, if you're doing kilogram bags or if you're sorting Lego, that can be quite time consuming. However, if, you, if, you know, choosing Lego mini figures specifically, I feel that they're really quite easy to list. And especially if you built up some sort of knowledge on which ones are good value and stuff like that, or even if you actually know market prices of them offhand, or if you've got if you've sold them in the past and you can just literally do like a sell similar or relist. So yeah, it's Lego minifigures for me seem really, really easy to list. Again, another thing with Lego minifigures is they're very, very easy to pack, easy to post, they're cheap to post. Um, it just as an all-round thing, and for me personally, I, it's easy to do research on Lego minifigures because a lot of them, I, I kind of know when I've got a valuable one. Even if I've not seen the minifigure in the past, I kind of know it'll be of some value just because of the subject matter or the 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 range that it's in. Let's say it's you know a Star Wars minifigure and it looks like a particularly obscure one. I can kind of know that it's going to be of some value. So yeah, Lego minifigures just very very easy for me to list. And number three, which is a little bit of an odd one and a little bit of a one that I, you know I don't deal with loads, but I do get them in from time to time. Is hats. I absolutely love listing hats because they're so. You may think they're quite hard to list, but and it and it ties in with something actually that I've got on my free free items I hate listing, 
um, or for your niches I hate listing let's say um, it actually ties in with something on that which is quite odd because this is something I really like listing but hats in particular I, I seem to just I know what I'm doing when I'm listing them I know the sizing of them I know how easy it is to photograph and look for flaws and things like that in the items I just seem to know quite a lot about them in the sense of you know being able to list them and describe them properly and I think that that just makes it easier for me to actually list them to actually just describe them title them price them whatever it may be or research them it just seems to make the process a lot smoother so yeah definitely hats is my third item and I think that that um, they just seem to be so easy for me to list and I enjoy picking them up quite a lot as well and with other things maybe other items of clothing and such they they're not as hard you know like other items of clothing might be a little bit harder to uh, photograph or to identify flaws in the item however hats being a nice smaller size they're easier to photograph and also they're easier to identify the flaws because they are a smaller size and you can just very quickly handle them and have a look around and see uh, if there are any um, you know any flaws in the item or anything you know anything that's just looks a little bit untoward that you might think actually I don't want to list this so they're quite easy to pick up as well because of that you can look at you can look for the flaws very very quickly when you're out sourcing um, so yeah they're my three items uh, so it was anything sealed anything brand new and sealed Lego minifigures and hats they're the three things I've really thought about it and I, th I think that those three things are the things that I really love listing the most so next video will be the three things I dislike or I hate listing um, I wasn't sure whether to say dislike or hate for the actual title of the video I think hate might be too strong of a word but certainly dislike so the, three, the next video will be the three things I dislike listing the most basically so yeah i'll see you in that video and i hope you enjoyed the video please do give it a like if you did enjoy it and don't forget to drop a comment down below with the three things that you love to list so yeah i'll see you in the next one guys